Today we're talking to Kelly Hicks, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what's going on at this building, where we are. It's an interesting looking building, Kelly. Tell me a little bit about where we are and what you do, because I hear you're the man with a plan when it comes to Parks and Rec. Okay, this is our um, Parks and Recreation Maintenance and Operations Building. Mm -hmm. We have um, my coworker and I, we mechanic out of this building, um, keep all of Parks and Recreation's non-licensed equipment running, mm -hmm. over 600 pieces between the two of us. We also have um, athletic turf maintenance crew um, working out of this building. We have our construction crew um, and our moving and playground crew work out of this building as well, as well as the downtown cleanup crew. Did you say 600 pieces of equipment? Yes, ma'am. 600, yes, not six, not oh, 60. It's actually over 600, over it's about 600. 640. Yep. 640. Do you mind if we take a look around and sure. you show me some of the equipment? Because I sure. see some things up high, down low. So the city has its own kind of mechanic shop for this department to yes. make sure that those over 600 pieces yes, are maintained on a daily basis. Yes, and you're the man, along with your coworkers, that make yes, that happen. Wow. Can you kind of show me maybe some of sure. what you do with this one? This is one of our mowers from Barber Park. It's getting a, oh, wow. it's getting a full service. Um, coworkers actually working on this one. Um, it's got oil changed, filters, hydraulic oil filters and stuff changed on it. Oh, wow. Okay. We've got this from, from Brian Park Soccer. Okay. Um, it's one of their um, soccer field mowers, reel mower. Um, it, I sharpened the reels. It's, um, it's got a full service as well. And it's got an electrical problem. It's kind of right in there, warranty. Mm -hmm. I'm working with the dealer now to see about, see what, how we're going to handle it. So Kelly, it looks like somebody's coming in bringing something. What is that? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, what, this is a what? weed eater. And uh, basically what happened was the little bumper guard Okay. Off, and okay. we just need a replacement. That's all. All right. All right. All right. Great. You can set it right there okay. and we'll, we'll get to it directly. Thank you. So Kelly, yes, what do you all do with those weed eaters? Specifically for someone to have to bring a weed eater over here. Why is that important? It's part of our fleet that we take care of. Uh, weed eaters, chainsaws. Anything Even the and, smaller yes, tools as well too. Yes, so you go from a tractor, yes, lawnmower, yes, weed eater. Good wow, variety. Wow, that is a good variety. What's going on with that one? The the little one here? The little one here, yeah. Yes ma'am. This is some uh, on the ground, it's some back there. This is a T mower from Gillespie Golf Course. Okay. Um, it had a water pump leaking, which I've already installed. I've replaced it this morning. Um, it had Needed an oil change, needed a complete service. Mm -hmm. I'm in the process of doing that right and been working on it. You can see the oil pan underneath it. Uh, needed the reel sharpened. I've got one completed and ready to go on. Wow. I've got one I left on the table to kind of show you the end result after sharpening. And okay. I've got one that's on the machine that I'm in the process of uh, sharpening. So just so I understand, Kelly, so basically that gentleman came in knowing what was wrong with his equipment that he brought right. in. Do most of the city employees come in knowing what's wrong and they drop it off or do you have to do like a diagnostic they to can, determine? Yes, ma'am. They can, they can tell us pretty close. Okay. It's doing this and then it's up to us to figure out why. Wow. And I bet you're dead on. You look like you know what you're doing. You think so? I do. I said you were the man with the plan back there, okay. you remember? And yes, your last name is Hicks, cause, so you can't go wrong yes, with that. This is what it should look like right here. This is the sample we took to no way. order the new one. So. Yeah. And that came off? That yes, looks it, nasty. It busted. It busted. Mm -hmm. Wow. Who knew? That's what a bearing looks like. I've never seen these things close up, so I'm amazed. Okay. And I remember what that is when I took shop class. What is that called? Vice. Yes. I was going to yes. say that. Mm -hmm. Shop like vice. Miami Vice. There you go. Yes, yeah. Shop Vice. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a reel off of that, off of that unit right there. Okay. Um, this is a bed knife. Okay. This is a reel that have to be sharpened separate. Okay. The machine behind you sharpens the bed knife. Oh. The machine directly in front of me sharpens the reel. Okay. I've already got everything set up so I can give you a demonstration of how I do that. Oh, I get to see? Yes, ma'am. Is it going to be loud, turn Kelly? Everything. It'll be a little loud. It's Ooh. not bad. Okay. So we're going to turn the stone on. It's going to start spinning our reel. We're going to turn our traverse on. 
Oh, that's not bad. Well, Kelly, this has been very enlightening. Who knew that all this was here? I've seen this building. I've even been in this building, but I had no idea all this equipment was here. And I'd just like to thank you so much for taking the time yes, out and again, showing us how Greensboro truly works.